A terrifying moment for a Waukesha man driving on the freeway earlier today when a chunk of ice flew off of a semi crushing his windshield. Sean Gallagher spoke to the owner of the car today as he and his wife recover. At this point, most people have cleared the snow from the tops of their vehicles, but there are still a handful who haven't, like this one that still has that thick, icy sheet of snow on top. That could become dislodged and then fly off and be a problematic projectile on the roadway. The one Waukesha man found that out the hard way. The roads are finally cleared, making for smooth sailing on the freeway. But negligence by one can cause nightmares for another. And all of a sudden, my windshield just boom. That's Nick Klug. Today, while driving on the freeway, a chunk of ice flew off the top of a semi, smashing his entire windshield. It was just terrifying. I've never experienced anything like that in my life, and I don't want to experience anything like that ever again. On our way to interview Nick, he abruptly canceled because he and his fiance were deciding whether they should go back to the hospital. They hurt their chest, head, and back from abruptly stopping, and that pain was coming back. Now that adrenaline's worn off and reality's kind of set in, you're feeling all the bumps, the bruises, the pain, just everything. The shop Nick's car is at tells me this is the first repair they're doing because of ice falling off a vehicle's roof. But it's more common than you may think. We passed multiple cars, box trucks, and semis with enough frozen snow on top of their vehicles to cause issues. And we saw pieces of icy snow flutter off the tops of two different vehicles, much smaller than what Nick experienced. It was a pretty big piece of ice considering how much damage it did to the windshield. While he and his fiance recover, Nick hopes others can see this and remember how important it is to clean off the snow from more than just your front and back windows. It takes two minutes to get the, all the snow off your roof. It takes two minutes to potentially save a life. In Waukesha, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.